Hi. I'm just trying out my new uh, tablet. See what the camera's like on it. So we'll have a see. Like I said, don't know whether anybody will be watching it. At such short notice. I'll just make a few simple little pots. See how we get on, see what it looks like at the end. If you want to ask any questions, I think that the questions should pop up somewhere on screen. Going to be a long video. I've only got ten pots to make, so maybe a quarter of an hour maximum. Oh, we've got a few on. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. get on any of my videos, this, for some reason. So what time is it now? It's quarter past two in the UK, so it's probably about mid-morning, USA, something like that. Hello, I can't see, I've got my glasses, I've got my throwing glasses on. Hello, hello, hello. Well, I've got 30 people watching. That's great. <laughs> Surprising. I think it's, I think this light's interfering a bit. It looks like it on my screen anyway. So I might have to change that sometime. Seven o'clock in Albuquerque, New Mexico, Tyrannosaurus girl. Wow, so you're a good six and a half, six hours behind us then. Bolton. Is it Bolton or Boston? <laughs> I can't see. I don't know why the comments keep disappearing. Bolton, yeah, it is Bolton. 918 in upstate SC, is that South Carolina or something else? Any more? 7am 7, 7 in Mexico, Albuquerque. All that from Spain. I've got a right crowd on today, which is nice. The glasses I use to throw my pots are really, really weak, and I need stronger ones to see further than two feet away where this thing is. So. 14, 20 in Great Britain, yellow, yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> I'm just making these little bowls today, as you can see, nothing nothing exciting. It's dead easy ones. Not doing a lot of work at the moment because we're dead in the shop after Christmas till about Easter, so I'll just tick it over. I don't know why these comments keep they come up and then they vanish. What part of Sandy Knowles we're in? Pickens country. Oh. Atlanta, Georgia, Las Vegas. Crazy. Sheffield, God's own country, county, 
Yorkshire. Yorkshire. <laughs> oh dear. It's freezing inch workshop today. <laughs> freezing cold. Exotic lades, hey up Dan, hey up fella, how's to do it? You're only about 50 mile away from me then if you're in Leeds. Get yourself up there 65 a bit. Just past settle. The Netherlands. <clears throat> Argentina, Saludos, Buenos Aires. It's crazy this isn't it, you put your video on, two minutes later you've got people from all over the world. Absolutely crazy. I might do a few more of these live ones, I might do a bit, I'll do them a bit later on for... Some people, no I don't know really. Think of it. I'm using my my front screen of me of my tablet, which makes it into a selfie, doesn't it? Which they're always back to front. So I'm left-handed, and that's that's my left hand, but it appears to be my right hand on the on the screen. So it'll look like I'm throwing it back to front for a change. Don't know why selfie cameras front screen turn it round flip everything round but it does because like yeah that's me that's my left hand but it appears to be my right hand on the telly so on the screen so it's one of those strange ones I mean wheel will be, probably appear to be going clockwise rather than anti-clockwise or counterclockwise yeah might be different when it comes up on the on YouTube but as it looks on my screen, it's all back to front, which is a strange one. Comments have all vanished again. Like I said, a bit boring, just making the same old pots. It's really just to just try this out. Try this uh, tablet out, see what it looks like. Comments have all vanished. Whether they've just stopped coming on or they've disappeared. I'm not too sure. Oh, I've got some questions on now. What kind of clay are you using? Tom M. I'm using smooth 
um, stoneware. It's stoneware clay and it's just the smoothest there is, no grog in it whatsoever. Really, really fine stuff. But you can fire it to a high temperature and it's quite easy to throw as well. So yeah, just fine, very fine stoneware clay. Why these questions keep vanishing? If I could press some, I'll probably mess it up, won't I? Oh no, right, let's press that on. Oh yeah, right. Oh that's ah, that's it now. They're stuck all right. Do you ever use porcelain? I've tried it a few times, I find it the most difficult clay in the world to throw. Just really difficult. I've got to throw with very little water, I and mean, if you know me, I throw with a lot of water. And uh, everything seems to crack for some reason. So, I mean, we have used it in the past, but just to make small things and really, really find it very difficult to, to throw. So it's a different technique, what's a totally to, to any other sort of player. Might be comments gone, I forget. I'm gonna have to press another button and see what happens, hang on. Come off, I'll come on again, great bones. How much clay do you use for these? Uh, let me see. Seven pound stick and I get nine, nine out of it, so probably about 12 ounces or so. Three quarters of a pound. So not a lot. Have I never done any raku? No, I've never done raku. Ever. Never really done any um, experimental stuff like that, so no, I'm not. I'm afraid. I suppose I should get a dustbin and have a go at firing something in one, in one of those or something. But you do get some pretty funky effects, I must admit. Right, two more to go. I've only been on 12 minutes, so I said about a quarter of an hour, didn't I? So, probably be that question. What glazes are your favourite? Tom M. We just, we've made our own recipes, so we never buy any glazes, so we don't use any of the, the more general ones that people can purchase. My dad just invented them years ago and we stick with those, so we've got like an oatmeal coloured one and a cobalt blue um, coloured one which comes out dark blue and there a bit and we've got a clear one which is quite an old recipe and basically that's about it there's no names for them they're just ones that my dad invented so they're the three we use don't try and complicate things and just stick with the, the ones we know really Any advice for throwing six pounds of clay to throw a bottle? Eesh. That's going to be a tall bottle. Just practice, just keep. To get it quite tall, six pounds is quite a big lump, so I would just say just keep it collared in all the time. Don't let it get away from you width wise, otherwise, you'll never be able to get it back, back in. So, And again, it's just practice. The more you throw, Obviously, the thicker the pot will get, so I would say don't try and make it too soft the clay because then it lacks a bit of strength. And if you make it, if the clay is quite hard, then you can actually it be stronger and you can make it a bit thinner, so you can probably make it a little bit bigger. But it's obviously a little bit harder to throw, being, being harder clay, so. I don't know why these quite the questions come up for five seconds then they just then the screen just vanishes so. I don't know why they've gone off again they've come on again now that's a shame I want to buy one of the other bowls yeah we don't uh, 
we don't post anything really. We've not even got a post office in our village. And we only charge, I'm only charge five quid for one of these, five pounds, so it'll cost more to post it. And the time and effort involved, but we don't make a fortune on our pots, so you know, once we've glazed them, fired them these, sold them for five quid, we're not going to spend half an hour posting them and packing them, so we don't do it, we just stick to the shop really. Right, I've run out of clay, I've got a little bit left, I'm just going to make a little pierced pot for tomorrow. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to love you and leave you after this. I'll try and do some more of these actually, I might just, if I schedule them then more people know when I'm going to do it, and then a few more can maybe join in, but I'm all right, we've got 33 online. 27 thumbs up, which is always nice. Quarter of an hour. Comments have all vanished again. Let's have a say that wheel. How big items can that wheel, sir? How big items can make? Can't make them very big on here because this doesn't go much slower than this. So uh, you really need a, a wheel that goes really slowly to make big stuff. And unfortunately, this is too this is too too fast. So I've got a speed regulator which I might try, which knocks the ampage down, the power down. But I think it well, which knocks the speed down, but I think it actually knocks the power down. So it'll probably probably stop it when I put some pressure on the clay but I might give that a try and try and grow throw a really big pot one of these days. So I'm just gonna make one of them little pierce pots tomorrow with this. Did you go to university? I went to university, I, st I studied, believe it or not, pure maths and quantum physics. I had no intention of ever being a, becoming a potter. And then I packed that in after two years because it was it was just horrible, horrible course. The only job I would have got would have been working in a nuclear power station or something, so came back, did a bit of building, didn't like that in winter, so I thought, well, see if my dad will let me have a go at making pottery, so 25 years later, here we are. So like, it was all self-taught and taught by my dad, so no college training in my pottery whatsoever. So that's it. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. That's, uh, that's all my clay done. Ten pots. 18 minutes now we'll do another one soon i'll schedule it and i'll put a little post up to let people know when it's coming on i think next time we'll see how this looks so i'll bet i'll just uh, turn it off i think that's it folks so i'll see you all soon i'll try and do this again now i've got to figure out how to turn this off with dirty fingers and without dropping my tablet in the in the water come on Oi. Right, don't know. I haven't got a clue what you do. It's three, oh, the X, direct X does it. X marks the spot. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? You're okay. Right, see you, folks.